kind of trouble? Did something happen? Ooh, maybe it's from when I decided no, to... No, it's all good. No, you keep talking. Well, I'll just get right to the point. Uh, I would like you and your son to meet with a very important benefactor of the college. Why us? You, you can understand that, right? I understand that you would like to put the novelty of my age and advanced intellect on display to raise some cash. No, just sort of. Can I speak to you alone? Will you give us a minute? Very well. But if you're looking to see if my father will be a potential donor, you... Would you donate a new library to have dinner with a goat? What restaurant? <laughs> Mr. Cooper, I need you to understand something. This university relies on donations for everything. For upkeep. That doesn't change anything. What if I promise not to dance? So you expect me to believe that you are going to go to a dance with your friends... They'll all be dancing while you just stand there. I go to church and don't pray. How is this any weekend? <laughs> uh, speaking of this weekend, hey, my son needs a final head count. Oh, it's a small wedding. It'll be weird if I'm there. Oh, come on. I want to be wearing a suit. I'm very sexy in the suit. Can I put on the game? I don't care. Sweet. What? The Just got off the phone with President Hagemeyer. This guy we're going to have dinner with sounds pretty interesting. You ain't made all of his money selling anti-static furniture for laboratories. He's not even a scientist. He's just a furniture salesman. Yeah. I'm bringing a date too. Come on, it'll be fun. Okay. I'm in. Fantastic. So, how dressed up we getting? Oh, it's a small ceremony, nothing fancy. You just saying that because you want to look better than me? No, of course not. But I do... Interesting. You know what else is interesting? Quantum mechanics. That describes the basic particles and forces that make up reality. Let's talk about that. I'm going to marry that bikini lady. I've been working on a theory about the wave particle. <laughs> What's a footloose? It is the movie that Pastor Jeff warned us about in his talk on the sins of cinema. Just let me go to the dance. I'm sorry, I can't. I'm never talking to you again. I don't know why I'm so excited. I'm paying for this. Hey, y'all. Hi, June. Don't you look pretty. Thank you. I happen to agree. <laughs> <laughs> Connie, Dale, this is Justin. Hi, Justin. I see. You mean dinner with my mom on a Saturday night? You're adorable. Guess I'm eating alone. What about Missy? She's not talking to me. She talked to you if you just let her go. You know I can't do that. Well, actually, I'm about to open a frozen yogurt shop. Frozen yogurt, right. Isn't that like crappy ice cream? <laughs> we consider it a healthy alternative. Right. Crappy ice cream. It's actually getting really popular. I'm going to invest. Invest? And about some of your goals at the university. Well, I'm pushing for stricter dress codes. There are a lot of belly buttons on display. Science goals. My ultimate goal is to one day devise the grand unified field theory. Uh, you're one of those, are you? No, wait. Connie, wait. What? Bring me back a beer. Missy? Go away, I'm not talking to you. That's exactly why I brought him. What the hell is the matter with you? What? Why would you go out of your way to upset Dale at your own son's wedding? I don't know. He's my ex-husband. Well, he's my boyfriend. Hey, that's your problem. Enough material together in one place. The trick? is numerology. In the right configuration, eventually it will explode. This is fun. Not a lot of people I can talk to scientist to scientist. You're not talking scientist to... My static lab chair. Please.